Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever. I'm Captain Drusif and today hoping to just recoup some of the losses from our uh, from our new line that we built in the last episode. Luckily we're finally picking up people on this new line. 13 of 42 so some room to grow but we're not solely incurring losses at this point. We're recouping some of those losses so Here's hoping in the next couple trips back and forth, this little train that could starts to rake in the cash because we need it pretty bad. We only have one and a half million dollars left to loan out, I believe. Yep, the max is still ten, and uh, that's it. That's that's probably enough to buy one more train if we need to and uh, build a line just kind of on the profitability that we experience periodically but I'm hoping uh, I re reduce the number of cars on this one in the hopes that oh, yeah in the hopes that it uh, isn't as expensive to run but kind of because it, it's not full all the time coming from Houston for some reason um, now when it leaves New Orleans I believe not a problem filling it up. In fact, still got 14 left over, so the car was, the fourth car was actually kind of helpful for that, but I think I'd rather maximize the uh, profitability by having as close to or near full all the time. Just that, that way we're like, because in, in theory, half the time this thing is running, it's it's not full, so. But now, it's pretty... What? Is there a way I can change priority on this? The passenger train should be getting priority here. Let's see. Is there a... Can I fiddle with these? I don't even have a, a signal here. And I also don't have a signal here. So that's kind of probably not helping. In fact, I would I would wager that this has been severely affecting the profitability of this line. I would wager heavily. Not too heavily, but all right. 141. Still just keeping pace. And trains are expensive to run, I must say. I think what will help is getting some industry added here to Houston. I mean, that helps with any of the cities here. I think that's why New Orleans is experiencing such a boon, is because, or boom, I should say, uh, we have, you know, a fairly, yeah, we're satisfying for the most part 93% of the fuel needs of this town or city. And uh, if we can kind of emulate that, at least for a few industries in each city, I think that's really going to grow them, because you can kind of tell. Which one? That's list of uh, towns. So right now, New York is still the largest city, but New Orleans, I think, will quickly overtake it, um, just because we don't have any passenger service, uh, no industries or goods, and uh, those are both things that New Orleans does have. So uh, here in a few short years, I'd imagine, New Orleans will be the largest city in the United States. At least as far as this <laughs> this map goes. I was like, contours, contours, contours. So many contours. You know, because these are mountains. The Rocky Mountains, look at that. Rocks. So rocky. Much rock. Anyways, enough of that. This is not going to be fun to build in. I mean, this probably won't be too bad. I could do like a line from Seattle to San Francisco to LA to Phoenix and then branch off Vegas and you know yeah from there but other than that I think it's gonna be pretty expensive to run I mean we're not going transcontinental anytime soon to say the least we can barely keep in the in the black although I think with the addition of that new line let's let's take a look it's been it's been, a, I think, a year since I've looked at it now. A year in game time? Okay, it's not at this end. It's over here. 
33 or 42. Nice. All right, so we're making money now on this. We're not losing any more. This is good news, and I think I can drop the loan by a little bit. It's really only important in January, I think, to have the loans as low as possible because that's when they levy any of the loan interest payments. So, I mean, it's not, I think it's $3,000 savings, but that can make a big difference uh, if you have a very large loan. So I I probably don't notice minus three thousand a year, at least at this point. But these kind of look like the European homes, don't they? What's What's New Orleans look like? Because those are a little more upgraded. Uh, well, it's still like eighteen seventy four. So I guess this is pretty consistent architecture. Oh, what's happening here? Unemployed 13. There, nobody is living here. There's just a crane. You can't tell me they're all living in that little box. That little yellow box. Oh, there's chickens here, apparently, too. It's just hustle and bustle. Oh, wow, that was fast. Yeah. Just titans of industry here. Exciting. Alright, so we're already back up above where we were. That's that's awesome as well. But I think... I kind of want to... Is there another processing plant nearby? Oop. Stagecoach and passenger car. Don't need these yet. Definitely don't need those yet. This is the closest one. This is the only one that makes sense. But I don't want to run another train, another station right here, simply because I already have all the infrastructure in place here. Hmm. And it's just it's just way too long to truck it. I think. I mean that's why I built this in the first place. Because I'm really trying to get some industry over here, but I sh I should probably concentrate my efforts elsewhere. So let's see what opportunities we have. We have food's a pretty simple one. So we've got the food processing plant here near um, Washington. We just need to find a farm or something. There's one there too. Where is the nearest farm? They're kind of all in the uh, the Midwest, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Crap. Is there one up here? Because I think it... Yeah, nothing up there. Yeah, they're all just like right here. Crap. <laughs> I guess I could do... Um, I could do a port here. Because I'm going to build a port out here anyways. To kind of... Um, I think I should build it there. What do you think? I think I should probably adjust it to my current needs rather because this is going to be an expensive venture the one I was talking about in the last episode kind of this line coming up from here to here all the way to here and then a harbor there which I guess I could still put two if I wanted and then uh, shipping <laughs> crude oil all the way from over here I mean it'll work but it's just that's going to require much more than what we currently have Whereas I think if we do a harbor here, I think that would be close enough to where I wouldn't even need... Well, let's see. Let's build out a road as short as possible. We'll do that and then... Well, let's see. Is there even... Uh, okay. I think it will be close enough, but... I'm just going to kind of do, shoot, because I don't want to build this and then it just be like, nah, that's not going to work. Two hundred eighty-two. I, 
think that's close enough. Ooh, nope. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we've got that. And then there's a farm right there. I'm thinking we can just put another one <laughs> here once we have the money. <laughs> And then I'm going to ship it all the way up here. Oh, man. What have I done? What have I done? I guess I should probably think about putting the uh, truck station down here. See, we're going to need it to be in mostly blue. No, 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 no. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, we're gonna do that, and then we'll build out a little road. Oh crap, oh crap. It really wants to put a road there. One building? What do you mean? We'll do that, and then... This is how you go bankrupt, kids. <laughs> Not really. Alright, so that's... That's really well placed. I'm, I'm very happy with that. And then we'll put one... Because I'm going through with it. I'm doing this. Luckily, ships aren't too expensive to run. Let's do... Let's do it like there. And that'll be a pretty short, pretty short trip. But now we need the other harbor. And then truck line. Oh man. This might be too much, folks. Uh, da, 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 water. Outside navigable water. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then. I'll do that. 20 grand for that road. Just fabulous. And then we'll do... Uh, no, let's do it here. Keep it as cheap as possible. Let's see if I can get it in between these so I can think ahead, just in case I'm going to use this other thing here. Of course, I don't even have seven grand now. 1987 or 1877. A landmark here. Okay, so that'll cover both. And then another one. Surprising, surprise, <laughs> over here. All right, so total of three lines. One, two. And that's, we'll call that New Orleans. Um, is it corn livestock? Corn and cows. I'll put corn and cows. There we go. That's the same thing, right? And then we'll do New Orleans to Washington. <laughs> which is where I have my, my greatest concerns. Although this is probably the cheapest way to get food to Washington. And this will be New Orleans, uh, New Orleans, Nolens to Washington. I'll just call it food. I'm going to abbreviate this. The Nova food. <laughs> there we go. And then the third line is to be Washington food because it's processed at that point. Washington food. And I'm thinking we'll have the boats start out here. Yes. Yes, we will. 
since that means we need a shipyard. So we'll put that there. And I think we're going to start with one. We'll start with one ship. It'll be the, the Wilhelm the first. Gosh, that's kind of expensive. How about this? Let's do this. We'll do... We'll do two American horse carts for now. This is going to be real low volume for to start with. And then we'll do... one of these. I'll do it. one American horse cart and that'll be four. And we'll add more later, but since we're going bare bones, the biggest piece of this is going to be the boat. But because it holds so much, it holds 50, I think with our low volume of uh, other like we won't incur a lot of expenses because it's just one it's like total of three American horse carts one ship and the ship's gonna take forever I mean this is gonna be really low volume but I'm thinking it'll be able to hold you know 50 we'll be able to get close to 50 of uh, the livestock and corn to this to this uh, to this harbor <laughs> freight harbor <laughs> I was at a loss for words there I think that'll be okay and we're doing really well otherwise um, besides these expenditures that I've made the uh, the trains are making a solid profit I mean this guy's I mean it's pretty modest I'll admit but that combined with the profitability of these guys I think it's not too bad. Eventually this will be a super profitable line. Simply because there's just gonna be so much coming in. But there's not that it, it doesn't have that much demand and we're I mean we're meeting ninety percent of it, so there's not a whole lot of opportunity for growth just yet. But I think as the city grows, so will the demand. And we're well on our way for that. Okay, so now that we've put this in place and it's been running for a little while. Let's see what see what we're doing here. Oh yeah, that's way better. I mean, a little bit down here, but I mean, I think overall it's increased in profitability. I think partially because we dropped a train coach off of there, and then we also uh, further regulated this line in terms of signals. Why do you not have anything yet? Supposed to have food. Line usage? No. Oh, it's because the ship hasn't made it here yet. Curses. <laughs> All right, let's speed this up. Oh man. But even still, all this time that we've spent between there and there, it's only twenty-five thousand in the hole. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's really not impacting us that bad. Although we're right here on the cusp of being able to pay off another five hundred thousand dollars. Come on, just one train, one train. There we go. Ooh, oh, and I was eligible, yes, for the <laughs> decreased loan payments. Nice, that's exciting. Just chugging away over here. Is there a captain? There is! Ooh, okay. I like to imagine that that's me piloting the ship via, <laughs> via stick rudder. It doesn't even have, like, an official... <laughs> it, doesn't have a, it doesn't have, like, a steering wheel or anything. It's just a stick. Which works. And then, I do think we are armed to fend off pirates in the Caribbean, you know, because once we get around Miami... Oh, okay, here we go. This is not going to be cheap. Um, well, 
let's let's let him go. That's getting kind of loud. Okay. I, th I think this train could use a fourth car. I think it's proven it's worth. as a fourth car earner, if that makes sense. But 1.4 million dollars. Let's let's save up probably like 500,000 and then I'll finance the rest. And then I think that'll be okay. Man. <laughs> It'll be nice once there's like three or four of these on the route. Because uh, it'll be more frequent. But right now, because the way the game works, I think you have to have reached one of the ports or destinations before it even recognizes that there's a line needing these resources. So what's going to happen, I think, is it's going to get here, turn around, and that's when the this will start coming. I really should have had it go to, oh man, I should have had it go to that other one, that other port up there. Uh, a little short-sighted, but I think now's a good stopping point, though. We will see uh, how this how this shipping line fares in the near future, but for today, I think this is good. So in the next episode, we'll have a better idea, and uh, I think we'll also potentially explore either a bus between New York and Boston or maybe even between all three of these because well I mean a train would be cheap but a bus at the very minimum and then uh, maybe some further freight options but we'll see we shall see uh, so be sure to leave a like if you did like this video uh, don't do that if you didn't like it leave a dislike and then uh, if you want to see more content like this be sure to subscribe uh, I'll be producing these more frequently now I'm trying to do like a Tuesday Thursday schedule so keep an eye out for them then but uh, until next time thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video